what is going on everybody so welcome back to the third video in the five part series where i review all of the bags that i use we went first through the everly sock which is my primary camping and go bag if need be and also in the previous video part two the vertex gamic 1.0 this is primarily an edc bag i carry this with me every day along with the third bag that we're going to talk about in today's review and that is the Everly Stock Bando bag. Again, Everly Stock, great company. That's my half track, which I did the first video on. You guys saw earlier. Now, this is a EDC bag for me. During the summer, especially down here in South Florida, it gets very hot. Well, that could, uh, there's a good argument we're everywhere right now. It's really hot. But I obviously like to dress down, uh, go fishing, go out to the Keys, and I'm going to be in sandals and shorts and a shirt. And this is very, very good to have with me. Also, I like to have something with me when I go to the gym and I always want to have my primary concealed carry with me at all times. And that is my Glock 19 that I carry in this bag. Now, we're just going to go over some of the features of this bag and why I believe it's probably one of the best fanny packs out there. Of course, there are some other ones. There are uh, Secretaire Gear. It's a really nice one. It makes a really nice one as well. And uh, there are some other ones uh, also that um, are probably honorable mentions uh, as well. Mystery Ranch has one that's really nice. But some of them were a little too big. Vertex also has one that is awesome too, but it's also too big. Um, and when I mean too big, it's kind of like the size of my multi-pack that you see back there. And that's just a huge fanny pack. I still want a fanny pack that looks like a fanny pack, as funny as that sounds. But... It's uh, a nice size, it definitely, it definitely fits well. I'm gonna put it on my waist for you in a little bit. Right now I kind of have it in the shoulder configuration. I typically carry this like this when I'm going anywhere, right behind my shoulder. That way I can just drop it forward and get whatever I need. Front pocket, really nice, neat, nice pull tabs, nice zipper, materials like a nylon, somewhat water, water uh, resistant, not waterproof. Um, the zippers definitely aren't waterproof and what I typically keep in the front pocket is my wallet, <clears throat> EOS cases, um, uh, titanium wallet, security wallet, and I typically have like a lighter in here in case I need uh, any source of fire. And in the second pocket, which is by all means the biggest pocket in here other than the other one, I have my AirPods, I carry my keys in there. A little fan that my son puts in here. This is like an iPhone fan. You know, why not, right? <laughs> and then, uh, as always, as stated before, I carry a tourniquet in every single one of my bags. And there's a tourniquet in there. And it's always with me at all times. It's got a nice zipper in there with some mesh. And that's where I carry my knife. Now, typically, I'll have this clipped into my pocket because I like to have my knife as soon as I can. And, um, but in this case, I have literally unpacking it as I got back from the gym. So as you can see there, you have a nice little mesh zipper that closes very nicely, smooth, and two other little pockets in here that you can stuff any other things you may need, snacks, whatever you want to keep in there. And then onto the primary pocket, which is where I keep my firearm. And that is open right there. Now I'm gonna check the safety check the firearm and it looks good. I'm just gonna show it to you and not take it out. So it is right in there. Now, as you can see, this is a mid-sized Glock 19 with an RMR and a Surefire light. Now this gun has been safety checked. It is clear, but I'm not gonna pull it out because I just want you to see how it sits in the bag. The the bag itself, the bando bag, comes with a nice Velcro strap that is modifiable, meaning you can move it around this back Velcro panel, uh, double hook, so you can then, you know, depending on the firearm you want to position in here, it can be um, facing this way or facing that way or facing at an angle at a cant, depending on what hand, what your dominant, what your shooting hand is, and that way it is set up so that you can open and go to it. Now. You know, people have asked me, oh, the strap's going to get in your way and like get caught up in the light. Well, when you're going to draw this gun, you're just going to rip the gun out. And, you know, God forbid, that's what you need to do to protect yourself. You're not worried about the strap being caught up on the front of your slide. You're going to shoot and that's going to sort itself out. 
and then you're going to clear it, right? Um, this is just made for retention to keep the gun from waddling around in there, and it does a very good job at doing that. A buddy of mine uh, who's been on the channel before, Chris, made a smart recommendation to buy a trigger guard, one of the Kydex ones that slides up over the trigger, and I think I am going to end up doing that because even though this is fairly thick and the back is very thick, I don't put anything else in this pocket. And that's very important, just if you don't listen to anything else in this video and you want to buy one of these things just because you want to have a gun inside of it, make sure that you never put anything else other than your pistol in here if the pistol is in here. And even if it's not in here, just make your, because you don't want to develop the bad habit. Same thing, um, I tell that to uh, my students all the time when I had students that were taking um, pistol safety courses because uh, I, I am an, uh, a certified instructor and uh, a lot of the women would ask me, well, what if I carry in the purse? And I'm like, that's okay if you carry in the purse, preferably in a holster, a Kydex holster, a hard leather holster. And if you're not, then put it in a dedicated pocket inside the purse that can be closed and make sure you'd never have something in there like, you know, keys, lipstick or uh, anything that you could that can get it lodged in that trigger it will go off so especially if it's a glock style trigger or a striker fire where you have the safety literally right on the lip and uh it'll go off and then guess what you've now shot yourself so not good not cool so don't do that dedicate a pocket to carrying this and specifically in this bag this is the bag that it, I'm sorry, this is the pocket you want that to be in. Another good thing to think about with this uh, bag and you're carrying like this is, this is an alternate carry method. Always have a holster. You're not always going to have, or you're not always going to want to be carrying this fanny pack with you. You know, let's just say if you're going to a formal occasion, you're not going to wear this around your waist. So again, different ways of carrying for different situations. You need to be able to have your gear and, and your bags adapt to what it is you're doing. This is not only um, you know something that you, you hear people in the military talk about because there's a lot of good channels out there that give a lot of good information, but this also applies to just your own life. This bag, I think, came in just like right under $60, $65. I'm gonna set it down and we'll go over the straps. Um, I'm gonna close it back up for that and uh, we'll go over the straps on the back. So, Now going over these straps, very nicely built here and uh, double stitched and actually really thickly stitched right here at the point of engagement where you engage the buckle. Uh, again, nicely done by Everly Stock, very nicely, very nice and positive, overbuilt, fairly easy to adjust. So just very simple uh, operation and this goes easily around your waist and I'll demonstrate that really quickly. It's going to put that right over my waist here, slide that over the back. And there you go, actually I actually need to make it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that very quickly. There we go, open, slide this over. And obviously you guys get the picture. You know how a fanny pack works. So just sits right there where you can draw and open the zipper on the side and then draw. If you're reading the shirt here, world's best cafecito maker. Big shout out to Martha of Miami. Check her out if you want to if you want any of this uh, Cuban merch. She's got a bunch of it, and I think it's pretty cool. So here's the uh, so here's the bag. What it looks like on. So overall, really nice, nice and light. The material, you know, it's a little shiny. Maybe I would prefer something made out of canvas, but actually I really like this material because it does offer a little bit of water resistance. And I'm gonna take it back off and start putting everything back in it. I like the way that the zippers. Um, nice uh, tuck nicely away in here it gives it a little bit of protection from the elements over there and um, on the opposite side again nicely stitched and very very heavy duty material here so awesome bag again if you're looking for a type of bag you know for the gym or even for carrying your EDC on the regular and you don't want to carry it on your body definitely check out the Eberly Stock Bando bag and actually I need to correct myself. The price on this was $49.99 shipping. I have said $65 because I think I paid for like the expedited shipping just to get a little quicker. It comes in a bunch of colors, including olive, which was my first option, but I went with the gray because at the end of the day, gray is just not associated with anything. And again, I don't like to be singled out as 
potentially carrying a bag that is military-like or military in color. Um, they do have it in multicam for those of you who want to use this. These are pretty cool to use out in the woods if you want to keep uh, some things around your waist for, for a very fast access. They also make it in a blue color, I believe an orange color, and also the solid black color. So you have about five or six color options. Pretty cool. Everly Stock definitely hit a home run and hit it out of the park with this bag. And I can't wait to continue to use it more. I really, I've only carried the bag already for maybe about a month. So not, not, not really uh, enough to do an in-depth review, but I'll definitely do a follow-up video in the future showing you what and how this has behaved. And hopefully it has behaved like all other products do. Everly Stock is known for making just good quality products that last a very long time. With that being said, guys, I really don't have anything else for you. I hope you found the video very informative. And if you didn't, I hope you found it entertaining. For all of you who are currently subscribed, thank you for the support. And for you guys who are just new, I hope you guys subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and also like the video. I'll see you guys in the next video.